Hello comic book fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness has released its first teaser trailer. And although this is a trailer that a lot of us have seen going to watch No Way Home as the end credit scene, it has now officially been released online by Marvel. So what I'm going to do here for you guys is giving you my trailer breakdown on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Pointing out Easter eggs you might have missed, little details there that hint to the overall plot. Really just showing you some of the key details in this trailer that go ahead and show you Marvel is pulling your leg again man but i mean you guys give me your opinions down below what do you think of the trailer for doctor strange 2 and the multiverse of madness this film is supposed to be absolutely wild and crazy with cameos galore what's a variant of a favorite marvel character that you want to see the most in this movie as well as any thoughts predictions or easter eggs you might have caught that i missed so with the opening of the doctor strange 2 trailer it made sense why it was played at the end of spider-man no way home because spoilers doctor strange 2 seems to be in effect after what happened in spider-man no way home this is why at the beginning of the trailer they go ahead and repeat some lines from the movie with the stability of space-time. Where I'm going to be very curious to see how exactly the spell that Strange casted at the end of No Way Home is going to affect him. We know he's not going to remember Peter Parker, but will he remember that he helped Spider-Man cast the spell that maybe caused all this mess? From there, one of the first details we get in the trailer is we open up on the broken watch that we saw Doctor Strange wear in the first movie that was gifted to him by Christine. I think the watch is a really good representation of how the multiverse is broken. Not just that, but the connection that Christine will have in Multiverse of Madness that'll be a big plot point of contention for Doctor Strange. From there, we're finally introduced to Doctor Strange in the trailer here. Now, you want to notice right away, the boy has got an outfit upgrade. So this most likely will be happening some point later on in the movie here. The best look we have of Doctor Strange's old look and his new look was from some Marvel Legend toys, where you can really see that the new look for Doctor Strange is a lot more comic accurate. And heck, his whole wardrobe change could be connected to a brand new character that's being introduced in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, whose name I'm sure going to mispronounce here, Rentra. In the Marvel Legend toys, we got a look of him as this half bull, half human looking thing. And he does appear very quickly in this trailer for a quick moment, battling it out in a temple filled with sorcerers. But in the comics, one notable thing with his character is that at one point he helped Doctor Strange repair his cloak of levitation. And if we go back to that same shot of Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness, if you look at the back of his cloak, it looks like it has been torn up and it's been stitched back together with some different color cloths. So it looks like that could be the key reason to introduce this character is to give Doctor Strange a wardrobe change. Continuing on, there was some more key details here. Doctor Strange is looking out on the city, where if you're someone who watched the animated What If episodes on Disney+, Plus, a lot of this should look familiar to you, as this city is also seeming to have some of this black goo attached, indicating that his reality is falling apart. This is where I'll go ahead and connect it now to the Doctor Strange that we see at the end of this trailer, that this teaser is really wanting to pinpoint to you that he's going to be the big bad of the movie when it seems like a giant misdirect. This character appeared in the What If series as Supreme Strange. His backstory basically went that he comes from from a universe where Christine was destined to die because her death was an absolute point of time, meaning it was always bound to happen one way or another, and through the course of him wanting to make sure this doesn't happen to her, he went down a path of darkness that led him to absorbing some really nasty creatures in the multiverse. And although he got what he wanted, it still meant that his universe collapsed very much like what we're looking at here with Doctor Strange's world. And on that topic, let's discuss some of the more varying characters we're supposed to get in Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness, because like I said, it is cameo galore in this movie. In the trailer, it does look like Doctor Strange is visiting a variant reality with the Sanctum Centaurum being completely in shambles where he encounters what we believe to be a variant version of Mordo from our universe and if toys that have gotten out about the movie are right he is known as Master Mordo. This seems to be a lot more friendlier version who is most likely on the side of Doctor Strange here but the other key detail about other variant versions that we will most likely see in this movie is if you look at when the Marvel logo is playing you can actually see different Marvel logos over the past couple of years even even including the Marvel logo that was playing in front of movies like X-Men, Fantastic Four, Ghost Rider, a lot of those early 2000s superhero movies, which is said to be a lot of the cameos we're going to get in this movie. There's been long rumors that X-Men characters like Magneto or Fantastic Four characters like Mr. Fantastic will be showing up in this movie, kind of forming the Illuminati, which is a group in the comics that kind of oversee all decisions in the Marvel Universe. And heck, there has been one leak from Multiverse of Madness that shows Charles Xavier meeting a 
variant version of Doctor Strange with some Ultron robots that seem to be another reference to the What If series. And it looks like this trailer kind of proves it correct because we see Doctor Strange here is in handcuffs. And in shots of this teaser trailer, we see Doctor Strange in those exact same handcuffs. I remember there was rumors that Tom Cruise could show up as Iron Man as he was one of the first actors who was considered for the role. So it would be kind of cool to see that happen. I'm honestly just hoping Sam Raimi attached to this movie, we get a look into Tobey Maguire's world. Because if you've seen Spider-Man No Way Home, you know that's something you'd want to see too. Another sequence that goes down in the trailer here is Doctor Strange is going up against this big tentacle monster. Now it's been a big debate of discussion amongst comic book fans whether this is Shumagorath or Gargantos, when at the end of the day, they're basically the same thing. Just giant eyed tentacle monsters trying to go after Strange. I don't think that he'll be a giant figure for the movie. And if anything, I feel like Doctor Strange is actually going to take a note from Supreme Strange and actually absorb him because later on in the trailer, we see Doctor Strange use his magic to go ahead and shoot out the same tentacles of this monster seeming like when this battle ends Doctor Strange will be absorbing this character. In the shots here of Rachel McAdams character Christine getting married must hurt a lot for Doctor Strange but it also makes sense he was gone for five years and several other years becoming Doctor Strange it makes sense that she moved on with her life and is about to get married and with the events of what if letting us know that a character like Christine is always supposed to die I wonder if that implies to his universe as well and a large part of the movie is him trying to prevent that from happening to her. But it also looks like Christine will be giving a variant version in Doctor Strange 2 because there's a moment in the trailer where Doctor Strange is going into a universe and he opens the door and right behind him you have America Chavez and Rachel McAdams but it doesn't seem that she's playing Christine. Some people are theorizing she could be Clea. In the comic books this is a sorcerer who falls in love with Doctor Strange and they have a relationship together. This could be Marvel's way of kind of copying out where Christine gets to have her own life in their universe but Doctor Strange will fall in love with this variant version version of her. And on that subject of America Chavez in this movie, she's going to be one of the biggest parts of this film to where, yes, it's another young Avenger that is being introduced in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you've been following along with these Disney Plus projects, it seems very obvious that Marvel is trying to get together all these younger superheroes to probably put them in a movie someday. But the reason that America Chavez is important in this movie is because in the comics, she has the ability to teleport to different realities. She even does so with opening portals in the shape of stars. And in this trailer, you do get to see one portal in the shape of a star open up and I think she's going to be the key for why Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch, goes evil in this movie. Because in the trailer we see that Doctor Strange has no interest in punishing Wanda for the events of Westview in WandaVision, which I think is pretty funny that they're just kind of going to let that go, that she imprisoned a whole town. But in this trailer it seems pretty clear that Wanda is going to be going more into her darker side with that dark hold she had by the end of that series in really wanting to get her children back from the multiverse where she's been looking for them this entire time and she's gonna take that dark chaos magic very far with her fingertips even turning black just like Agatha Harkness's fingertips did indicating that Wanda is willing to go to any lengths to find her children so in this adventure when Strange genuinely wants the help of Wanda and they come in contact with America Chavez I think that's where their characters will split apart where Wanda will just want the powers that America Chavez has so that she can find her own children and explore the multiverse while Strange is more focused on saving the multiverse and protecting the this child. The last thing I'll throw in there that I don't want to think about is I feel like this might be the movie where Wong dies. I know we don't want to think about that. Wong has become a fan favorite character for a lot of people. But again, spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home. We learned in that movie that Wong is now technically the Sorcerer Supreme because Doctor Strange was gone for five years. So it gave the upper hand to Wong and now he has that responsibility and title. I think that's going to be a death sentence here where instead of Strange eventually surpassing Wong and gaining that title back himself, the movie will Will actually end up killing off Wong, passing down the title of Sorcerer Supreme to Doctor Strange. And there's some shots in this trailer that very much look like Wong is in trouble. But those are just some of the things I caught in the trailer for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below. What do you think your theories and thoughts are about this trailer? And then everything, go ahead and let me know down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.